Bamamabat is a Jerusalem-based theater group that utilizes the stage as a platform to inspire dialogue and action concerning political, social, and religious issues. We are proud to once again be a part of V-Day, Eve Ensler's annual global campaign to stop violence against women. Like Pamatmabat, Ensler, author of the Vagina Monologues, believes that dynamic theater reflecting the stories and lives of women all over the world can bring about change, empowerment, and understanding. Since our audience and community are as equally vital to this process as our cast, we have once again taken it to the streets to see what you have to say. What do you think is the biggest threat women are facing today? Men. Men are the biggest threat. <laughs> no, it's a... Uh... Society has developed because men were physically stronger, I think, in such a way that women don't have an equal chance at anything. And it's changing, it's changing slowly, and the more it changes, I think the more threatened men feel. Uh, probably, probably sexism, yeah. Probably the whole like women's liberation movement, what it, what it did to women, and um, changing the roles of women, trying to be like men. To be honest, the biggest threat, I think, are themselves. Women, women themselves fighting against each other all the time. Uh, you say it in Hebrew, the, in Hebrew a, a woman who always blames herself that she's getting beat and she just can't say no, there's nothing wrong with me, there's, there's something wrong with him. And that's the thing, that's the big problem of women that they don't use their, they work more by their emotion and less by their brain. Equal pay for equal work. Probably poverty. I think unfortunately in our uh, slightly liberal society today, women are still facing a whole lot of prejudice and a whole lot of chauvinism. Modesty, I mean, that not, and it's not, I'm just saying that, I'm not saying it's the fault of the women or the fault of the men, it's the fault of society in general. That, we, that's, that in society which doesn't encourage modesty, then there's a breakdown between what should be the barriers between men and women. And there's a la it results in a lack of respect for women. It have to be domestic violence and the lack of understanding of the seriousness of it. When you hear violence against women, what do you think of? Answer it with more violence because it gets me really angry. That's what I think. <laughs> but I wouldn't actually be violent, I'd just say why, I don't understand. Shoot the son of a bitch. I think this man that uh, makes violence against me is a weak man. First and foremost, I think of wife beating. Uh, wife beating, rape, prostitution. Verbal abuse, physical abuse battered wife syndrome. I guess in a lot of Middle Eastern countries there's um, violence against women. I think I just heard um, that in some Middle Eastern country it was it became legal to um, hit your wife, um, something like that. So I think that's the uh, first thing that comes to my mind. I guess it could also be more subtle things like the, the things we're subjected to in society and that we think we have to conform to, the way we think we have to dress. You know, the modeling industry, that can all be a form of violence against women. There are so many different stereotypes and things that might pop, pop into your mind of, you know, a, a drunkard husband or, you know, this person or that person. But in reality, it could be anyone. It could be any family. There is no set stereotype. And that's why there needs to be more, more awareness. So instead of just watching for what we think, uh, what we think of stereotypically, we need to be aware of the fact that it can happen anywhere at any time to anyone. I don't think it's just violence, abuse of husbands. I also think it's language, it's everything. Just even a girl who's, you know, openly sexual and people just call her a slut, it's violence against women. It's not fair. What do you like most about being a woman? What do I like most about being a woman? Everything. It's great to be a woman. <laughs> I like being girly. Really fun. I like my femininity. I like dressing like a woman. I like just, it's, it's fun. It's, um, you know, you can kind of make up your who you want to be wherever you go. You know, be the life of the party or just, you know, sit alone, do whatever you want. Well, because my husband treats me well, I feel valued and esteemed. And, uh, and there is the sisterhood. Um, of other women because we uh, relate to each other from a hormonal point of view. They're just so much fun and there's just so much things to touch. Who would you say has been the most influential woman either in history or in your life? Personally I'd have to say it was probably my mother because without her I wouldn't be here. But as far as the most influential woman in history, 
is concerned, that's tough. That's really a difficult question. Sarah, our matriarch, who was um, who bore a child at uh, 99 years old. In my life, I'd have to say Golda Meir. Joan of Arc. Mirai is a Imaochilano Sarari, Karahal Malaya Batuach. Hillary Clinton. And you know the lady from America for the slogan? Like that, for the army? My mom. Hi, Mom. Probably overused. No Mother Teresa thing. I think Condoleezza Rice is, uh, 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 is an amazing woman. There's like a lot of movie actresses that I like look up to and stuff, but I, I don't have like one specific one. That would have to be my grandmother. So in our generation, the Rebbe's wife, the Chaya Mushka. Madonna. You know, I'm going to say pretty obvious one. I'm going to have to say Rosa Parks. There's like so many women that you could learn from. There's not like one woman that I say, wow, everything's from her. It's like you pick up from different women, different things, and you like learn from them whatever you got to learn. Zippy <laughs> Livni. I have to say my mom, just because as much as she drives me crazy, she also is one of the most selfless, passionate, amazing women um, that, that just taught me to have confidence and love myself. The answer, I'm a history buff, so the answer has to do with, okay, it's history. Con you guys know Emperor, Emperor Constantine? His wife was probably the most influential woman I've ever, at the changing entire world, because Constantine kind of brought Christianity into the entire world, and it was his wife that really pushed him towards that faith. I would have to say the most influential woman in history would be anybody's mother. Complete this sentence for me, please. The last time I looked at my vagina was... The last time I looked at my vagina was... Uh, well, look that, like, from what angle? <laughs> Uh, last week. <laughs> last week when I got a waxing because I want to make sure they got everything. Yesterday in the shower. <laughs> last time I, I looked at it, like, looked, I don't know, like when I shower, I don't know. But I probably like actively looked was when before I got married going for a, um, we, were, we were married two and a half months. Uh, thank you. And going for my premarital exam. And yeah. I haven't taken a peek recently. So, goodness gracious, you know, it's, it's been a while. Maybe I should get reacquainted with it. If your vagina could speak, what would it say? I love being a redhead. <laughs> Here I am, world. Let's have more fun. <laughs> that it decides who comes into it and who doesn't. You only stop the man you married. And, <laughs> and I'm very excited to bear your children. My husband will love this. Uh, it's very satisfied. <laughs> Newly, your... No shit.